So good afternoon to all. Hope you are doing great. So today in this video, we will be discussing about Reliance PowerShare. So we know that many people have requested to make a separate technical analysis video on Reliance Power. So we will try to find out what would be the immediate supports and resistances for the stock and in near term as well as in short term where the stock will approach we will try to discuss. So we know that recently the update of fund rising was related. So what are those particular updates also I will try to discuss and if you have not joined the telegram do join it so that you will not miss any instant updates and if you have not yet subscribed the channel so definitely subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified. Okay, so coming to the update on Reliance Power, so we know that fund rising update was released. So today morning itself, so the volumes also have increased considerably if you compare on daily average. So when this particular update was released, so on that particular note itself, the stock today also it has closed in upper circuit. So coming to the date of the meeting, you can see date is provided around June 13 and the, the company has also said that it will be raising the funds by uh, using either equity linked securities or equity share and either preferential issue or qualified institutional placement or either it may be right issue so by this basic means so many options have been provided for the rising of funds and date also you can see june 13th is the date provided officially by the company Okay, so coming to the movement of R power since the last five sessions, you can see it has given around 25.13% positive movement. So we know that we used to discuss about R power few months back, not even near term. So very few months back, uh, we used to discuss about it. So after that, I have not discussed about it because I strictly told that once you're investing any quantity, any penny stock, I tell to leave it for long term. So as usual, the stock has given some very good momentum. So now since it is uh, trying to approach it, it's, uh, it's new highs so definitely many people had questions regarding the technicals so same thing what happened in reliance infra also uh, so that particular company also used to trade at that particular lows itself so continuously even that particular stock has showed the momentum okay so when uh, ultimately when anil ambani is having little bit of power in hand so definitely they'll try to okay increase the share price as well so that is what we are seeing in reliance power as well and if we see the oh, all time okay if you see the reliance power all time you can see it used to trade above okay 250 260 so in that particular range our power used to trade if you go uh, to its uh, uh, initial stages when all the uh, reliance companies used to be at very good levels so after that we know due to the increase in debt and everything so they've continuously started falling so now when we see they're rising the funds it implies that uh, so whatever the funds they now get they can use it to reduce the debt as well so which will be beneficial to the company so how they'll utilize that depends upon them so for right now the stock is looking little bullish so based on updates as well as when we see the volumes also they are increasing on a regular basis okay so almost the stock is down 95 percent okay from its all-time high so still okay we can expect little more rally in reliance power as well Okay, so when we see the quarterly financials of uh, Reliance Power, you can see the revenue which was down around 7.98% and if you see net income which has jumped around 101.72% and net profit margin also has increased on quarter on quarter basis. So one, uh, we can say good thing about the company that they are declaring the results. So when we see a few penny stocks, basically they don't even declare their quarter results. So no up to date, uh, okay, financials would be present. So that time we need to take something negative but this particular company so on time they are providing the updates or whatever it may be related to fundraising or financials so everything is intact but how uh, they are going to utilize it the in the future is one big question so if they're using it for the right purpose then definitely okay some debt can be reduced and uh, Ultimately, due to the updates wise, also the stock will show some positive momentum. So quickly, let's go to technical charts and we'll see what are the levels. 
okay so quickly let us see what are the various updates which are going around in reliance power you can see on 9th june we have seen 100% deliveries so if you see earlier we know deliveries were little fluctuating so on an average we used to see 48 to okay roughly in the range of 50% deliveries but nowadays uh, okay since yesterday itself when the update has released so suddenly the deliveries have completely gone to 100% because of direct upper circuit and you can see 4.6% movement was seen in the last session and today also you can see the same 5% movement is present so even reliance infra its other companies uh, arcom also they are also moving in a set of same pattern okay so first reliance infra has started its momentum after that reliance power so ultimately next we can see arcom also is following the same set of pattern so when one company of a parent company is moving so ultimately others also try to follow the same pattern Okay, so clearly we can understand that deliveries have increased and also price is also moving according to that. So quickly, let's go on to charts. Okay, so recently we know that the stock has been entered into NSC BE category. So what is BE and all? You know basically. So whenever any stock goes into BE, so that time we can't do any sort of intraday trading. So we need to hold the particular stocks for a certain period of time. So already I discussed in earlier video. So that much uh, clear view is not present. So let's go to uh, BSC Group T. So we know that it is listed in both NSC as well as BSC. So both price movement is almost same. Okay. So when we see here clearly you can see 200 day exponential moving average is present near 16.46 so that particular level okay is going to be very very important because whenever any stock is having an approach toward 200 exponential moving average you need to focus that very well and similarly whenever it crosses then definitely a huge bullish momentum would be present so this one uh, okay price you need to focus very well so after that we know as usual today it has closed above the pivot resistance of 12 rupees so that is also pretty good okay if we see money flow index that is near 82 so that is still not entered into completely overbought region so 82 is also little uh, in over zone itself but not completely in that particular range and volumes also you can see they are increasing so today little bit less but obviously on regular basis some steady volume is being increased okay so when we see one day chart so you can see one day chart almost the stock has opened every day so every day it was giving a chance for buying opportunity so i tell to many people whenever you're not getting any chance for buying in nse eq or anything you can try for bse also obviously they would be same and same way if you want to sell also you can try in both nse as well as bse so don't stick to okay uh, one nse itself because chances are very less whenever any stock is hitting upper circuit nse and when it is opening BSE, you can try in BSE because volumes also would be less and execution chances also would be higher okay so when we see in one day chart clearly you can see the stock is having free movement till 14.60 so once it crosses that definitely we also have the 200 day exponential moving average so double confirmation would be present near that particular region so you need to focus that and support wise you need to take 10 rupees as the very important support and money flow index is also near 81 and volumes are also pretty good in this particular stock in all the uh, time frames okay so focus the levels very clearly and especially the 200 day moving average is going to be very very important so further if you're having any doubts related to our power you can message me in the comment section and also you can connect with me within instagram so instagram id is stocks derivative so until then stay safe take care bye bye